while back for fun one afternoon, I thought it would be cool to make Breakout, the 1976 Atari game from like 50 years ago. And why Breakout? Well, Nintendo Nintendo thought it was interesting. They re-released it in 2022. So we'll go through in this project in a couple hours and I'll walk you through how to create Breakout yourself, in particular in C++, but you could do the same thing in any language, really. This is really geared towards newer programmers, um, in particular of C++. What we'll be covering is the framework GTK, or in particular GTKMM, which is the C++ wrapper for it. That'll allow us to have the UI for our keyboard handling and for the graphics. We'll do some basic 2D physics, collision detection. It'll show event-driven programming, object-oriented programming, and in general, just how to make games because the architecture for making games or simulations is actually pretty similar for all games. And this is a good example, a fairly simple example, that can show how you can create a game yourself or how to use these tools to do the basics. And then from that, you can get your own ideas and go from there. So here you can see we've got a paddle that moves around with the keyboard, a ball that bounces around off the walls. It's subject to gravity. It collides with the bricks up at the top and causes them to disappear. You've got a score in the top left and some stats that show frame rate and some other things we'll talk about later. And then, of course, if you complete all the blocks, you win. If the ball crashes to the bottom, you lose. Okay, maybe that's a little bit harsh, but, you know, you got to have a reason to try. So let's dive in. So to start making our breakout game, we're going to make a directory for breakout in our project directory. We'll create CMakeList and main. That's our project start. Now let's open it in Sea Lion. Okay, there's our project. Okay, for this project, we're gonna need GTKMM installed. So if you haven't already, we want the development package so that we can build with it. And I already have it installed. Next thing you want to do is go to your CMake list file and we're going to add all the things that we need in order to include GTK MM. So we're going to need the threads package. So just find package threads. We're going to mark it as required. And then we need these following lines for GTK MM. So we're going to find package the package config module. And then the way you include package config, if you're not familiar with package config, at the command line, you can type package config. And then for your includes, you can type in the name of the project that you're interested in, and it will give you a list of all the includes. You can see right here, it's including pthread. So that's why we need the threads library. So these would be your includes and C flags libs would give you all your libraries. So these would be the commands that you would build with if you're building at the command line, like GCC. Um, then you could provide the package config C flags and GTKMM, and that would give you everything you need. Okay, like that. So we include the package config module and then we use it with this package check modules. The capital GTK MM here is the string that it's going to use for the starting of your variables. So it's going to prepend all the variables with GTK MM. So then the link directories are going to be GTK MM underscore library directories and the include directories will be GTK MM include directories. 
So the name of the module is gtkmm 3.0. That's the same thing we typed in on the command line when we used package config. So calling this populates two CMake variables. One of them is gtkmm library directories, and the other is gtkmm include directories. And then we link to those directories and include them. And then we need to add one more thing. We want to link to our project. So we're going to link to our project, the gtkmm libraries. All right, that's our CMake list file all set up. Let's go back to main and add in the gtkmm parts. All right, the simplest way to get a window open is we're going to create a GTK application. We need to include the GTKMM header. And this wants an application ID, which is just a string. Then we need to run our application. So we've got to create our own class. And then run it. Now you've got a window and it's got a title, which is from this project. I believe it's from the project name. Let's see. Yeah, it's from the project name in the CMake file. So if you want to change the title bar that it defaults to, change the name of your project. So really we want our class app to be in its own files so we can create a new set of files for that. If you just right click on your project directory, new class, and then add a name, we'll use lowercase file formatting, and I'll go ahead and automatically add it to our target, which will add it to the make lists, or the add executable in C make list. So we've got app.h and cpp, And you can see it added app.cpp and app.h to our ad executable. Everything runs.